Hello, hello, Jeff Hellman here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. And today I want to show you how to send an agent referral from KW Command. So I've done videos already on basically how to find referrals, right? Uh, referral agents, maybe in other markets. So we saw how easy that is. And in this case, I want to show you how to actually send a referral once we have one to send. So here we go. So I log into KW Command. I'm going to click on referrals over here on the left hand side. And I have a list of the agents that I have set up um, that I've already connected with. So if you haven't already connected with an agent, that's really your first step. Go connect with one. And then once you have agents in here, we can go ahead and send a referral. So over here on the right hand side, we just have this nice little button that says send referral. Makes it pretty easy here. And this is uh, Krista who's on my team. So I'm just using this as an example. Um, but if this was someone in another market, really all works the same way. So I'm deciding whether or not it's a buyer, a seller, a tenant, or a landlord. So in this case, we'll say it's a buyer. Uh, there's a, a spot to set the referral fee, so you can actually change that. You notice by default it says 25%. It's kind of a, um, I guess, a customary one. But of course, if you ask for a larger referral percentage, you're able to select that in here as well. So we'll kind of leave that at 25%. Um, there's also an acceptance deadline. So this is important because um, basically you could send a referral to multiple people and they have the opportunity to accept it or decline it. Um, so in this case, we want to know within 24 hours that we're going to get this accepted. Um, if not, then uh, you know we'd like to know that, right? So that, that this hasn't been accepted. Now, uh, next I'm going to do price minimum, price max. So that's not a required field. We don't always get that information, but it is good to include that. Hopefully, whatever referral you're sending, you have some sort of rapport with just so to kind of help that handoff a little bit better. So in this case, we can go ahead and put in, you know, 200,000 to 500,000. Kind of a big range there. Let's we'll see what happens. All right, then there's notes. So um, this is our ability. We have 3,000 characters, and it's a good spot to put things like, you know, um, longtime friend of mine, moving to a certain area, um, you know, looking for this and that. Anything we might already know, like I said, to help that agent decide whether or not this is a good fit for them to take. So we don't always just want to assume for sending someone a referral that they're just going to take it and it's going to be great, right? We want to we want to find a good connection. That's our opinion, of course. Um, so in here, I'd put, uh, you know, these are some details about the referral. Okay, then I'm going to select a client from the database or I can create a new contact for this referral. So the idea, like let's say this is a seller, right? We already have them in our database and we're sent, they're going to become a buyer in another market. So in that, that case, we'll go ahead and select from the database. There we go. I'll just pull up my test contact here. All right, and then it fills in, pre-fills the first name and last name because I selected an actual uh, contact. Now this also helps in the KW command platform to kind of make that connection here. So the other option of course is to go ahead and create a new contact on the fly. Um, if you don't already have them in your database, maybe it's someone you just met and they're not someone you've been working. Um, so you can do it either way, whichever way works best for you to suit your needs there. All right, so again, we've got the first and last name. Now, are they pre-approved or pre-qualified? Um, it's just kind of a qualifier to help us understand as agents that are receiving the lead. Um, again, that it's just a little more information for us to use. You don't have to select those if, they, if you don't have them. You know, if they're not pre-qualified or pre-approved, then we don't have it. Uh, then we have the client's address. So you can actually type that in there um, if it's relevant. So if it's a seller especially, it's nice to have the address in there. Because uh, then we kind of know what property we're looking at, but it does not have to be um, added in there, but it is an option, of course. The client's desired location, you'll see, is a required field. So the idea here is that, you know, we want to at least know that we're putting them in the right spot. So in this case, you know, we run, operate a team out of Las Vegas. Uh, we handle Henderson, North Las Vegas, Green Valley, Summerlin, Boulder City. Like we handle really the whole Vegas Valley out here. So we want to put in that, that desired location. So again, as an agent, I'm able to make a determination if that's a good fit for me to accept that lead. Then we have the client's phone number and client's email. It's pre-filled because we selected that from the database. If not, if you're creating a new contact, it's going to, of course, have empty fields and you'll see that's required, at least the email. 
And then the transaction timeline. So by default, it's just putting next day. Um, obviously that's probably not the timeline for the client, but you know, when is it that they're looking to actually get um, in, you know, under contract or in a home in this particular case. So I can click the little uh, calendar and I can choose, let's say a future date, let's say by the end of January, they wanna be in a home, okay? And then I can go ahead and click send. So in this case, I'm not gonna send that because I don't want Krista to wonder uh, who I'm trying to send her myself in this case. Um, but once you hit send, it's then going, you're done, right? It's, it's actually sent to them. The agent is going to get a notification in command that they've been sent a referral to review. Uh, hopefully they have their uh, KW app installed because they'd get that push notification if that's the case. Um, and then once you've actually sent the referral, you're able to easily access that information from within that particular agent that you have in your network. All right, so if you have any questions on that, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at balanbrands.com. And if you have any referrals, of course, out in our area in Las Vegas, we'd love to join your network and we'd love to help handle your referrals.